Romans chapter 8 verse 37. Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. There is a message on how the devil sometimes uses the first-person pronoun to plant thoughts in our heads, to deceive us. He doesn't say, you have an eating disorder, or, you have an addiction. The devil uses the first-person pronoun to sow thoughts, such as these in your mind. For example, he will say, I have an eating disorder, or, I am addicted to alcohol. He makes you think that, you are thinking those thoughts of defeat. He wants you to believe that is who you are. Upon hearing this message, there was a Christian, whom the devil had used this strategy on, and trapped in a destructive addiction for many years, went home after church, locked himself in his room, and for the first time, declared out loud, I am not an addict. He chose to reject this evil mindset in the name of Jesus. At that very moment, he felt something powerful happen inside him. He don't know how to describe this. It was as if life became spectacular, because of the love of God, and he couldn't contain the feeling. After making that confession out loud, he said his addiction stopped. He just lost all interest, and he don't feel even a little bit tempted. All the wrong desires are gone. He was renewed and reborn. He now know that everything is in his control, and he is blessed and forgiven. What an amazing testimony, of God's power and goodness in this brother's life. With just one declaration, he broke the mental stronghold that the devil had placed him under for many years. That is truly the power of right believing. When you change what you believe, you can change your life, just like this brother did. Are there lies about your identity that you believe in today? Break the power of those lies. By declaring your identity in Christ. Say out loud, I am a child of God. I am healed, forgiven, righteous, and holy in Christ Jesus. Instead of believing the devil's lies. When he uses the first person pronoun strategy against you, speak your true identity in Jesus. Thanks for watching. If you are blessed by this video, please don't forget to like and comment. Feel free to share with someone who needs God's grace right now. Kindly subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified. And watch other inspirational videos like this.